Judges 18. Here, a group of Israelites from the tribe of Dan are going out to attack another, another town because they want to take possession of that area. And they come to a priest, a Levite, and they say, will God make our journey successful? And the priest says, the Levite says, go in peace, your way has the approval of Yahweh. Well, it didn't, really. They're going to attack their own brethren. And he quickly says, yeah, 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 God approves of what you're doing. This wouldn't be the only time in the Bible where you find people of God responding too quickly and assuming that they know what God's will is. For example, David comes to Nathan the prophet and says, oh, I'd like to build a physical temple for God. What do you think? And Nathan says, oh, yeah, Yahweh says that's a great idea. You go and do it. Next night, God appears to Nathan and says, no, I don't want a temple. Go and tell David, no, I don't want one. Another example, 1 Kings 22, with Micaiah. Ahab says, now, now, tell me the truth by Yahweh. Should I go and fight at Ramoth Gilead? Uh, yes, 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 Yahweh says, go and fight at Ramoth Gilead. You're going to win, sir. Yep, you're going to prosper. Later on, the word of God comes to Micaiah, and he goes back and says, no, no, no. Actually, God says, if you go and fight there, you're going to be destroyed. The message is, don't assume that you know God's will. Do not assume that your intuition, your best guess, your feeling, your gut feeling is right. You hear in the world, follow your heart. You, know, you are the best judge. Your heart is, is the best indicator to you. Well, no, I'm afraid as a believer, you come to understand that there is no light within. But inside, our head is, is a jumble. Light and darkness mixed up. Our own sense of conscience is, is skewed. You know, Paul says, even though I know nothing against myself and my own conscience, I'm not thereby justified. Seek God's guidance. Have the humility to come to God's word and really have an open mind, a clean mind, where God can write. Pray to God all the time for guidance. Do not assume that, oh, yes, obviously uh, we should buy this kitchen unit and not that one, or I obviously should do this or not that. Oh, that's what my gut tells me. No. People go so wrong with those sorts of decisions. Have the humility to come to God's word and to come to God in prayer and seek specifically his guidance.